1996, Motorola introduced the very first flippable phone to their consumers. Flippable phones then became the norm to most buyers years later and was typical for the everyday use in a cell phone. But how has the idea of flippable phones evolved and inspired a new trend within smartphones known as foldable smartphones? Hi, if you're new here, I'm Destin Tech and on this channel I focus mainly on tech reviews, unboxings, and consumer electronic tips to make purchasing easier for you. In this video, I will be talking about foldable smartphones and the reason why tech companies are beginning to have already transitioned to foldable smartphone devices. If you like tech content like this, subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos similar to this one. When I mention foldable smartphones, the first phone that may come to mind is either the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold or Z Flip, or maybe the Motorola Razr by chance. But why exactly are these tech companies slowly trying to transition to foldable phones? The main reason these companies are trying to create foldable options is because phones don't typically have as much screen real estate as laptops and tablets would have. Most companies see this as a perfect way to charge customers more because they're offering more phone for the price. If we consider Samsung Z Fold for example, when it's fully open it kind of resembles a tablet, but when the screen is folded it resembles more of a phone. This folding ability gives the consumer the option to limit the amount of screen visible and for other tasks expand it. The only thing different about a normal phone's display compared to a foldable phone's display is that a foldable phone's screen is much skinnier and isn't as wide, sort of like a candy bar shape. Expanding most current foldable phones requires users to use both hands to properly handle the device. The demand for foldable devices haven't really been the best because it doesn't really appeal to the everyday phone user. Some people aren't willing to spend the price that some tech companies are charging for these devices and some others may not be ready for some of the risks that come with foldable phones like fragileness, hinge issues, and the inability to run certain apps. For anyone that is currently looking to purchase a foldable smartphone, if you are planning to consistently use the larger screen, a foldable device may not be such a bad fit for you. I hope you enjoyed this video of me talking about foldable smartphone devices. Comment whether or not you've decided to buy a foldable device for yourself. Also, comment any other tech content you would like to see from me. Thanks for watching to the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future tech content like this. You just watched the Dustin Tech video and I'll see you in the next video.